Well, hey, everybody, this is Buddy. Well, that's one thing about having a swimming pool late in the evening in Jamaica. You can enjoy it. I mean, I can literally swim laps. I did the other day. But um, now I've got my Garmin Phoenix 5S uh, set up for open swim. So literally, it'll be a little more accurate than what I did the other day. But um, this, swimming in this pool is not necessarily about trying to get a lot of yardage and, you know, trying to get a lot of laps. It's just like time to chill out. See how the sun drops over this gazebo looking thing? And um, yeah, so that's going towards the west and the sun rises, comes up this direction. Most of the day you've got the sun is, is full effect on the pool. Alright, so if you take me up on kiteboarding and you come to Miss Elaine's uh, place, you'll see that uh, she it has a plan to cater to, to kiteboarders. So you ask for, you tell her you're a kiteboarder and you ask her, you know, for the buddy deal. And we'll see. You, you'll be treated. If you're being treated like I've been treated, you'll be treated like, like family. I mean, yeah. She really knows how to cook, and <laughs> the rooms and the decor of the of the feel of the place is like, ah, uh, high end, very very luxurious, and uh, so. The way to travel, as I notice a lot of people are doing this, uh, they're booking through Airbnb and young people especially, but uh, yeah, people are looking for a deal. And so she has three different prices and you can be accommodated at any level that you, that you want. The thing is to get on the phone and plan your your airline, you're flying into Montego Bay if you're coming here, and this is near Burwood Beach. It's on the east, am I saying it right? It's on the east side of Falmouth. So literally we're just a, a 15 minute drive away from Falmouth, and then from Falmouth to Montego Bay is 25 or 30. So it's real close to Montego Bay, it's close to the airport. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing in the afternoon. Now the wind's supposed to blow tomorrow in the next few days. So I got my kite uh, squared away and everything is uh, working really good with that. And I'm planning on testing my 8 here real soon. I, I'm normally kiting with 11, but when that wind uh, is right, I'm going to do a test with my 8. And then in high winds, like 20 two to 29 or 30, I'll be riding my brand new eight. All right.